Welcome to My Sarcastic Kitchen. My name is Lucas, and on this show, we cook whatever the f I want. And today, we're going to be making apple pie. To start off with your apple pie, we're making pie crust. If you've never made homemade pie crust, your mother never loved you. First, we're gonna start with a big ass piece of equipment. If you don't have a food processor at home, you can use a fork if you're primitive enough. We're gonna be adding two and a half cups of flour. There, fucking good enough. We're gonna be adding one cup of butter. It's going to be cubed into half inch cubes. So here we have the one cup of butter. We're gonna add that into our dish right now. We're gonna be adding three-fourths teaspoon, wow, well, that was a lisp. Three-fourths teaspoon of salt. Suffering, suck a cat. Suffering, suck a cat. Seal up your food processor. Make sure you line the arrows up. We're gonna pulse it for probably about 30 seconds until the butter is nice and incorporated into the flour. So now, as you can see, we have some nice, really good texture on the flour. Now what we're going to do next is we're gonna add six tablespoons of ice cold water. It has to be ice cold because you do not want your butter to melt. If your butter starts melting, you will die. Just don't do it, promise? Just drizzle it in a little at a time until the dough starts to form into a ball. So I drizzle in a little bit of the water and I'm gonna pulse it. Start adding that water. I'm gonna keep doing that until it forms that ball of dough. Once it hits this stage, you do not want to add any more water, otherwise there'll be too much in your dough and you're gonna, be you're gonna have to start all over again. So now what I'm going to do is we're gonna put it down on the board, push it together, we're gonna divide it in half, and then we're gonna make it into little round discs, saran wrap them, and put them in the fridge for a couple hours to cool and get firm. So this recipe makes two pie crusts, but for the apple pie we're making, we're only going to need one crust. So, what to do with the other crust, you may ask? Well, good question. What I do is I'm going to saran wrap the crust and put it in the freezer, and you can keep it frozen for up to six months and use it anytime. All right, so we're gonna wrap these up, we're gonna cool them, and then when we come back, we'll be rolling this shit out. Two hours later. All right, we're back. It's been two hours. The dough has been chilling in the fridge. We're gonna flour the table, roll out our dough, lay it into the pie, and we'll crimp the edges on it. I'm gonna show you how you crimp the edges of the pie. It's a fucking masterpiece, like, like Picasso. Leonardo da Vinci. Mm. Just dust your surface lightly with flour. And I'm also going to dust both sides of the pie dough as well. This is what I call Big Bertha. If you want things flattened in your kitchen, you will own a marble rolling pin. When you're rolling out, you wanna go in one direction. I take it and I turn it. Okay, we're gonna start rolling out this way. We want to create a circle. We're gonna try to get it to like a quarter of an inch thick first. After that, we roll out to an eighth of an inch thick. Okay, so now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my pie dish. We're gonna flip it over on top of the dough, and we're just gonna cut about an inch around the outside of your dough. Now these pieces that you cut off from the outside, we're gonna save those. Because sometimes when you're laying your crust in, you might tear it here or there. You might need a little extra crust on the outside. We'll use that for that. This is the hardest part. Rolling up the dough on your rolling pin in order to transfer it to the dish. So what I normally do is I'll take a knife, set my rolling pin on. I will slowly pick up the dough onto the rolling pin. I'll start rolling the dough with my pin. Okay? Just, just like that. And then we're gonna lay it into the dish. Boom. Now it's all about forming. You know, if there's anybody out there watching this and has some really good tricks and tips, leave some uh, comments down below. 
Doesn't have to be perfect. Nobody's gonna be seeing the inside of your pie. Ouch. We're gonna keep pushing this in, adding dough here and there. Don't worry about the outside of your crust right now. It's gonna come together. We're gonna do what I think fears most people. We're gonna make the scalloped edge of the pie. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this extra dough that we have. I'm just gonna fold it over. Going all the way around. You want kind of like a little mountain of dough all around the edge. A little mountain of dough. A little mountain of dough there. Over there, hey. We're gonna crimp the edges of the dough. So you're gonna take this finger, you're gonna put it right in here. You're gonna take your two fingers. And you're gonna do that. Little indent. Going all the way around. But do you see how it makes it look pretty? and kind of complete, not so shitty. So now that you have your pie crust completed with the scalloped edges, we're gonna start doing the apple pie filling. We gotta slice and dice some apples. How do you like them apples? <laughs> how, do you, how do you like them? Dice, slice, sauteed. Can you even julienne them? Can you julienne these? Do you know how to julienne? I don't know. Do you know julienne? She's really nice. All right, so now we're moving on to the next step. My most favorite step is peeling the apples. Doesn't really matter how you do this, you just kind of want to go through and get rid of all of the skins. No skins be left on these apples. So this Thanksgiving, when you're sitting around the table and you're, everybody's going around telling each other what they're most thankful for. What are you most thankful for? Thankful that you're alive. Thankful that you have a job or a roof over your head. Money to pay the bills. That Uncle Timmy's not touching you anymore like they did when you were a child. So, size apples. I recommend about a quarter of an inch. So you're gonna take it, cut about a quarter of an inch, cut it in half. This is about six cups of apples. Five Granny Smith and two Golden Delicious. We're gonna add one cup of sugar, two tablespoons of flour, and the next thing we're gonna add is gonna be the spices. And everything nice. I'm gonna be using my own mixture of spices. I have cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger in here. We're gonna add a whole tablespoon of the spices. Lemon juice. Lemon juice keeps the apples fresh, adds a little zing to the pie when it's done. All right, there is a tablespoon of lemon juice. We're gonna mix this up. That right there is what you want. Fucking beautiful. We're gonna put this shit inside of our pie crust. Get it going. Now you're gonna dump this shit in. You wanna be kinda careful. Don't wanna ruin that edging we made because that took a fucking long time to do. So now our next step that we have to do is, is get the crumb topping into a little bowl. Add one cup of flour, a half a cup of brown sugar, a teaspoon of our spices, half a cup of butter. Now you're gonna take a fork. It's a revolutionary kitchen tool. Oh, it's a different kind of tool with lots of slits. <laughs> Slits. We're just gonna keep cutting the butter into the flour or the sugar. We want to make sure there's nice, small pieces. Now you have to do this by hand. The crumb topping cannot be done by anything other but a fork and a bowl. Grandma told me so. You have to do it this way. Whew, there we go, look at that. Nice, even texture with the butter, it's perfect. Now that our crumb topping is done, we're gonna add it onto the top of our pie. Just dump that shit on, or just spread it around. You wanna make sure it covers everything. Now we have one last final thing for the top of our pie, and that is gonna be walnuts. We're gonna turn our oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, you didn't hear me because you weren't listening it's 425 degrees Fahrenheit maybe our oven will actually work this time shut up is it working we have to wait and see <laughs> it's gonna just be a moment we took the pie out of the oven it's allowed itself to cool for a few hours it's allowed itself <laughs> like the pie is a person Tell me all your pie secrets. So it's been a couple hours, the pie has come out of the oven and it is 
beautiful. We cannot wait to cut into this. If you want the full ingredients list to this pie, you can find it in our link to my blog below. Also check out all the other links below to the people who collab with us on this project. Leave a like, say your comments. I wanna know what you think about this pie. Give any suggestions that you have, something else you wanna see, okay? You've been watching My Sarcastic Kitchen. Until next time. If you ever salute again. Leave me alone. What did you miss? I forgot to dot the top, dot the top of the pie with pieces of butter before putting the crumb topping on. Well, f Lucas. I know. Now it's fucking ruined. Thanksgiving is now Thanksgiving.